Hi, in this tutorial we will see one of the ways to project the color information from images on a 3D model. So in other tutorials we already saw how to align images on a 3D model. So once that you have aligned an image, like here we have a data, data set where we have a single 3D model and we have nine images which have been aligned on the model. So one of the most straightforward applications of that is the projection of color information from the image to the, to the geometry. Well, actually, uh, this part of the projection of the color information is uh, uh, a bit tricky in the sense that uh, uh, it's not really trivial to uh, assign a color value because uh, the same part of the surface can be framed by different uh, images and uh, the color values of these different images can be different one respect to the other. So uh, what is the color that you will assign to each part of the surface given that several images are trying to assign different values of color? Uh, this time we will see a, a very easy to use filter which is able to blend the contribution of all the images by trying to uh, give a higher weight uh, in the assignment of the color to the part of the images which are of higher value. This is based on one of our publications which is called Masked Photo Blending and uh, it's a quite a robust approach in the sense that it works uh, well with uh, any kind of object starting from the sm very small ones up to even the buildings and uh, you can get a very nice result in a very easy way. So your input data is represented by a, a three-dimensional model and a series of images which have been aligned to the model. So when you want to project the color information you can use this filter which is inside filters camera project active rasters color to current mesh. So if you go for this filter you will have this dialog Essentially, uh, this uh, projection is made in two steps. In the first step, uh, the quality of each pixel of each image that has to be projected is calculated. And uh, the, the rules to calculate the color, the quality of this pixel, are based of, on some common sense rules, which are essentially listed here. So uh, there is a weight uh, relative to the um, angle between the direction of view and the normal of the model. And a rule for the distance and so on, so you can have a look at the paper if you want to have more details. Well, essentially what you can choose, you can decide which are the distances that you want to use to calculate the, the quality uh, of the portions of the images. Um, my advice to leave all, all of them together, unless you are uh, dealing with a very peculiar cases. And, uh, Okay, so essentially the, the application of filter is quite tra straightforward. Uh, if you click apply, uh, the quality mask associated to each image will be calculated and the projection will be applied on the model. So the application of the filter is quite fast and it uses quite a lot of graphics card. So you have to be a bit careful uh, because uh, it's using the graf graphics card so if something goes wrong it could be that you don't have a graphic card which is uh, uh, powerful enough so if you're working on a laptop for example or on a netbook this could be the case and uh, so you have al always to take into account on how much uh, information you have in your uh, project like what is the, the size of the, uh, the model, how many images did you put in memory so if you're working especially with a 32-bit version of MeshLab it could be that you don't have enough resources to make the projection. So this could be one of the reasons why it doesn't work perfectly. Okay, But in this case we had uh, nine images and a model which was 2.5 million faces. And this is the result of a projection. So you see that we have a very nice color. Uh, this approach which is uh, based on blending is very powerful because it's able to blend the appearance of all the images. So even if you have images which are, squ which are quite 
different one respect to the other it will blend the difference and it will give you a very continuous color so you can see that the result is really good uh, what is the uh, weak point of this approach is that uh, you can see it here so if you have uh, one or more images which are slightly misaligned with respect to the model you could have the, the fine details of the color which are projected in slightly different position this is an effect which is called aliasing or ghosting uh, so the way to correct this essentially would be to try to uh, improve the alignment of the images although this could be really difficult especially if the data are not perfect uh, otherwise this is one of the weak points of the, the blending approach we will see that there are other ways to project the color um, this is really good when you have uh, a lot of images and uh, you, have, you want a very continuous color and you can see that the result is already very good um, a few more comments on this uh, uh, filter which uh, as you can see is it's really straightforward but actually if you have a look at the name of the filter it is called project active raster color to current mesh this means that only the images only the raster which are active will be projected so if you want for example to project only a subset of the images you can just uh, make uh, the images that you don't want to project non-active so that if I remove these images I will project only eight images out of nine so you will uh, this is a quite powerful thing because sometimes you don't really know uh, what are the important images and the, the not important images in the projection so you can make several tries until you get the best of the the color quality uh, by using uh, only the images that you need for the projection uh, another couple of comments is that are that uh, in the camera submenu you will see that you have uh, uh, three filters which start from pro with the project word the second one is project active raster color to current mesh fill in the texture this is exactly the same filter that I showed before but this one will color the texture so if you have an object a model which already has a parameterization calculator so you have a, a texture map which is associated to this uh, model and you can obtain it in uh, several ways there are some ways also to obtain it in MeshLab and we'll make uh, some tutorials on that you can directly instead of uh, coloring the model in this way which is a color per vertex so you assigned uh, quality, uh, color value to each vertex of the model you can directly color the texture and this could be very good especially when you're dealing with the models which are not very detailed for geometry and you want to keep as, ma as much as detail as possible for the color part the first filter is called project current raster color to current mesh this means that you will project only one image which is the current image the one which is shown in yellow in the list so we will you will project only one image and this this is something uh, sometimes uh, useful when you want to check if the image is well aligned or if you have a very very simple uh, object where only one image like a planar object where only one image is enough to make the projection this is faster than using the, the blending approach and uh, yeah, sometimes it's useful so this is one of the approaches for transferring the color information from the images to the 3D model uh, please feel free to try that and uh, that's it thanks